So the thing about rape and sexual assault is that you are never prepared for it to happen. Because in some ways it's one of those things that you think is, is never going to happen to you. So then when it happened to me, I was like, wait, did that just happen? <laughs> did I actually just get raped? And, and there wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't prepared for it. I mean, you're never prepared for something like that. For the rest of my life, it's going to affect how I live my life day to day. It's going to affect my, you know, my friendships, my sexual relationships, everything. Now that I have started to talk about it and be more open about it, it's, it's just a massive weight off my shoulders and I wish I do wish I'd done it sooner. Look around on the on a on a crowded bus, there's probably three, four, five survivors of sexual violence standing around you. Knowing it or not, you are surrounded by people who know your, what you're going through. More and more people are speaking up about what's happened to them. More and more people are telling their own stories. I decided to waive my anonymity really early on, and I think that was something that felt really powerful to me, that I was accepting this is something that's happened to me. You know, there's this idea in the media that there's loads of people coming forward about being raped and sexually assaulted or abused as, ch as children, um, but it's only the tip of the iceberg of, of what's really happening out there, because most people feel they can't come forward. I would say that you should not be ashamed of what happened to you. Uh, because the definition of sexual assault is that it took place without your consent. So, unfortunately, our society and maybe friends and family feel like we should be ashamed, and maybe we sometimes feel like we should be ashamed, but we shouldn't, because at the end of the day, somebody else chose to do this to you, you, didn't, you did not choose it. We are breaking the silence. Uh, we are refusing to allow this subject to be a taboo. Um, we are raising our hands and saying, me too.